Hi right, everyone and welcome back to another Borky No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to some sit on you, so let's jump right into it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Once we hit 5k, we'll do that giveaway. Alright, maintenance noise tonight. So there's going to be the active reality new chapter is going to be releasing. Nutcracker is coming, Gretel and Princess Kaguya. So there's a couple of things I want to go over really quick. If we go into main story and we're in active reality right here, you can see that there's gonna be a couple chapters added. There's either gonna be nine or eleven chapters added, depending on how far they go on Kaguya's storyline. So that's gonna be really cool. I can't wait for that. So that's in that's like a free 450 crystals or 550 crystals. So overall, I'm pretty excited for that. All right, let's go over the other things and get into the juicy parts. Right here, you can see that pretty much Nutcracker is going to be here. Look at that little, you know, sassy pants right there. Quite possibly one of the best created characters in Sinnoh Alice. Look at all, look at it, look at this man. He's just like smug. Okay, anyways, he's gonna be providing two. 200 stats overall he's gonna be a welcome addition to the game and i would say he's going to be a free class and this is the one that we're most likely getting i really can't wait just for this dude to be in here he's like pretty much the most like just wholesome guy right this is gonna be kaguya now i pretty much did the math on the side you can see it on the calculator she's gonna be providing 640 stats just note that this is going to be a paid class and note that the weapon is actually pretty good i would say if you're a cleric and you're in need of two healing stats or like it guarantees two heals this is probably Probably one of the you know decent stabs that you can get and it's an easy MLB for that part so yeah I would say you know pick it up if you want it next is going to be Gretel Gretel's gonna be awesome 640 stats overall and you know what this is one of my favorite designs in Sinnoh Alice I like both outfits preferably this one this one's like you know really nice I like the the droopy shirt and it's pretty cool that we're gonna be finally getting all these altar classes 640 stats just like Kaguya and I would say pretty decent and just know I'm gonna be picking up one copy of Kaguya just because I want those class bonuses 640 stats is pretty decent and for the most part you can't really go wrong there let's talk about the real stuff right here and let's talk about all of these weapons is it worth the pull on this banner is it good now just note that this is going to be a step up banner so you can't really go wrong there i'm not sure if i said it in like the last video where you know i prefaced that the bonfire banner was a step up but this one's going to be a step up as well and i think it's okay it's a, it's an okay banner just to note the best weapon out of this whole entire bunch let's not look at this stack though is going to be the voltage dictionary this is by far the best weapon and i would say it's really good because it's a 1.5 it reduces both physical defense and magical defense and it also has replenish magic too now replenish magic too isn't the important part but the fact that it's a 1.5 and it reduces defense that's pretty i would say it's pretty rare for 18 cost for a tome to have this so i would say it's pretty decent and right now it seems to be like the meta for like tomes and other like support weapons like the instrument and staff they have shifted to rias and shadow lord so i've been seeing a lot of changes in coliseum where people are using like shadow lord instead of like ufo and dryas in the beginning because things are shifting now things are shifting where those elemental nightmares are actually better in the beginning so just to note if you're seeing like a shift in arena it's because like Dryas and Shadow Lord and UFO. Those are nightmares that can be used at the beginning of the fight, depending on the situation of your guild. And I would say this is the best pickup for the entire banner. Now, Steel Whistle is okay. It only increases magical defense. And for the most part, it has a decent support call of support ability where it's increasing physical defense. Just know it's only one ally in the Vanguard, of course. I would say like if you if you want like you know a new instrument that's guaranteed to, this is an okay pickup, but for the most part, it only you know increases magical defense defense and you can only go so far with that meaning of delusion this one's a pretty decent spear overall Montel focus one you know deals great magical damage to one or two allies yeah and for the most part you're getting this because you really like gretel right like gretel's your waifu you want to get gretel and that's the reason why you want that weapon you can't really go wrong like with this banner i would say you know resistant gun is okay i wish it was like a t4 like fire weapon for the most part this is a really good weapon against ogre because we know ogre is a really horrible time for the most part it's one of like the most difficult like bosses in Sinnoh Alice so the reason why you would pick up this gun is because you know you want to kill ogre and plus it can go LL in the future so you know there's that too it's it's pretty good like for the most part it's pretty good you can see like all the weapons for the most part they're I would say magical oriented this one's pretty balanced to the, the tome which is pretty good actually this gun is pretty balanced eh it's an okay gun because its stats are balanced it, it turns into okay I would give this banner like a B minus the owner 
thing that's keeping it up is this tome overall. Now, let's look at this staff. This is completely separate and not in the banner. This staff is a guaranteed two allies, right? It's a moderate amount and it also increases defense. I would say like if you if you need a two, you know, healing staff, it, it's good. Like I, like I was saying earlier, physical defense recovery, that's not really important because you're a cleric. But for the most part, it's an easy MLB. So, you know, once it goes to 120, it has pretty amazing stats overall. So if you want to go for that, it's pretty good. Just note that you are guaranteed like the class if you purchase, you know, the class. So if you purchase the weapon set, I mean, you're going to get Kaguya and that's the only way to get Kaguya. First time purchase only. Let's talk about this nightmare. This nightmare is actually really good. I was looking at him earlier and he's pretty much one of the best statted nightmares that we're going to be getting. So if you go here and then let's sort by total, like stats, total. He's actually really high. So, you know, he's only right below Red Rose and Red Rose is one of like the highest statted like nightmares. And you can see by order, the pay nightmares is pretty much like right there. So he's like within like the top 20 or top 10, like, you know, normal nightmares in the entire game. Plus it's a step up. So if you want to like MLB this dude, you don't feel like, you know, going all in on pay nightmares, then, you know, this, uh, this guy's a pretty decent chance. I would say that he is going to be probably one of the better effective nightmares because he's going to be reducing two two things he's gonna be reducing ranged and polearm so you can pretty much shut down a magical guild just have it so that you can survive like you know maybe like the last three minutes of a fight they're about to pop ogre you pop this dude you can have some time some leeway where you don't die and i would say he's probably one of the most needed nightmares in Kahlo right now because of this ability M pretty much make ogre not as effective now it's not going to stop ogre nothing stops ogre all right nothing stops a defiant roar because defiant roar has probably the craziest multipliers in the entire game but the thing is it, it can at least alleviate that so your clerics aren't you know completely like flabbergasted and everyone's pretty much panicking this is probably one of the better nightmares that i have seen just because it's not attack based or it's not support based this one's actually vanguard based i would say this guy pretty much carries the banner overall because of this ability and the fact that you can technically almost survive an ogre just because of this guy right or you can like use an ogre against ogre which i don't recommend or you can use an elemental nightmare just so you can you know have enough heals or whatever to go up against ogre it's up to you or you can just use this dude just for like flat out defensive like play style like there's a lot of applications to this guy so overall i would say you know he's one of the better nightmares that we've received in quite some time so that's pretty much it for today's video you know we're gonna be getting a lot of things oh wait I forgot something. I almost forgot something. This is actually pretty important. Thanksgiving login is going to be coming as well. So we're going to be getting 200 uh, crystals in total. So feel free to log in from the 23rd to the 27th. Get some free crystals along the way. But yeah, now that's it for today's video. You know, we're going to be getting some new classes, nutcrackers coming, you know, step up and all that stuff. You can't really go wrong with all this. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we get 5k, we'll do that giveaway. See ya.